Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video from Education Solutions. My name is John, and in today's clip, I would like to show all of the instructors out there who are using YouTube in order to uh, film some videos for your students on how to create timestamps with ChatGPT from your transcripts, and that way your students can find very easily the main key points of your online video lectures here. So I'll flip over here to my channel, We've got Education Solutions, and in here we've got my very first video on how to create engaging Microsoft Forms quizzes with ChatGPT. So you'll open up your video, and the very first thing that you'll want to do is go to near this bottom right-hand side. We'll see the, we've got these three dots, and it says here to show the transcript. So as soon as you show the transcript, over here to the right, you'll see the transcript appear. And what you'll do is you're, you're going to uh, uh, hold down the mouse and highlight all of the text. Scroll through the entire text and copy the text. And then you're going to put it into ChatGPT. Now, in here, let me just show you exactly what the prompt was that I, that I used. Okay, so I told in ChatGPT, I said, please create and format at least five timestamps for this YouTube video that highlights the main points of the video, of this video, with the first timestamp being 000. And then I pasted in the entire transcript. So we can see that uh, in scrolling through here, once I pasted that in, then ChatGPT comes through and says, okay, well, here are the five timestamps highlighting the main point. So introduction, demonstrating the process, copying and generating, uh, and setting up the point value. Okay, so what I have to do here is I have to then copy this. These are the timestamps here. You'll copy that text, and then you'll come over to your video, and you want to edit this video so that we can place in here these timestamps. Now, with the timestamps here, I, I cut out a little bit of the wording. Uh, let me make sure that everyone can see this one. Okay, so I pasted this into the description here, and I had to cut out a little bit of the wording, but you can see uh, in particular here, it starts at 000, 124, we've got the prompt set up at about four minutes, it's generating the quiz questions. At 652, we've got formatting and 902 importing into Microsoft Forms. So make sure that uh, when you do that, you can, you can cut some of these out because you don't need too many words in there. That's just to highlight the, uh, the main key points in the chapters in your video. Now, once you do that, you would go and you would save that description with, or, with your timestamps. And then you can come back here and you can see in your video, you can see that these timestamps come through. And also, if you come back to the top here, or sorry, up to your video, and if you're playing this, You'll see here that we've got this part is the introduction. Right here is the prompt setup for a minute all the way up to 358. And then we've got the view chapter here for generating the quiz questions. So that way your students can jump around to different parts of the video very quickly and know exactly what, you're, uh, what they're looking at here. Okay, so that took me all of, I want to say about five minutes or so to create the timestamps for that video. And that also helps to increase your SEO as well so that uh, people can find your video and also uh, that YouTube can, the algorithm can actually help to promote that video as well. So I hope that this was very helpful. Uh, if you do have some questions about how to create timestamps with your uh, videos and with ChatGPT, please do post your questions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like it and please do subscribe to the Education Solutions channel as well. I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.